Hello, I'm Barbara Taylor Bradford and I'm here to talk to you about my career rather than a book. Um, many newspaper people or magazine editors or television hosts ask me the same questions. When did you start writing and who inspired you? Well, I started writing when I was seven years old. When I was ten, my mother liked one of my short stories and she made me copy it out again because it was covered in ink blots and scratchings out. And she sent it off, the new copy, to a magazine for children. And three months later, they wrote and sent me money, if you can imagine, a postal order for seven and sixpence. They had bought the story and they were going to publish it. Now seven and sixpence was quite a lot in those days to a little girl of ten, but I wasn't interested in the money. I was only interested in seeing my name, Barbara Taylor, on that little story in the magazine. And when it finally arrived and it was the magazine was there and the story had been published, I was so proud of myself. And I said to my mother, I'm going to be a writer. And she said, well, yes, maybe you will be when you grow up. And of course, I was. My first novel was A Woman of Substance, which has been one of the all-time bestsellers. And, um, a book I really struggled with. As a matter of fact, it was overly long. It went in at 1,569 pages, and we cut it down to 1,200 pages. Um, it weighed 16 and a half pounds, and when people say, you weighed it, I say, yes, I did, at the grocery store. I just wanted to know how much this baby weighed. So it was really like triplets, actually, I think at 16 and a half pounds. The book is a favorite of mine, and I loved the miniseries which starred Jenny Seagrove, Deborah Carr, Liam Neeson, John Mills, and so many other wonderful actors, and it was shot in Yorkshire, where the book was set, and it was very authentic and true to the book, so I was pleased with that. Um, my husband has made nine other movies uh, of my books that have either been television of the week movies or miniseries, and they've all been rather good with truly wonderful stars, aside from Liam and Deborah and Jenny and the others in A Woman of Substance. We've had Sir Anthony Hopkins and Donna Mills and Lindsay Wagner and Victoria Tennant, James Brolin, Nigel Havers, and on and on it goes. Any stars I've missed out, I'm sorry, but um, my memory escape, it's escapes me at the moment, but they have been wonderful shows that everybody's enjoyed. Um, people say to me, have you got a favorite novel of your novels? And of course, I think every writer always loves their first book. And I love A Woman of Substance, and it started my career as a novelist. I was a journalist before that. And, of course, it's got a special place in my heart, as does the movie. But my second favorite is The Women in His Life, um, a book of mine that should have been made into a miniseries but wasn't, and for a, a variety of reasons, which we won't talk about here. But it's a book that... When I wrote it, I think I, I cried almost halfway through it because it touched on so many things, including the Holocaust. And it's a book that people have come to me and said, thank you for writing The Women in His Life. It, it is our favorite book that you've written. But as an author, of course, you love all your books. Otherwise, you wouldn't write them. And I do love them all, but those two are my favorites, A Woman of Substance and The Women in His Life. Thank you.